guys can we literally talk about how real anxiety is like I'm out here preparing for my exams but they're going guys have you ever um, experienced as a mini panic attacks that just sneak up on you and you're like trying to study and then your brain just goes all the way yeah south and then you like flip flip good off like Gunzima and you literally trying by all means to stay strong and try and remind yourself of the word of God that says leave carefree before God because he is most careful with you and that is literally first Peter chapter five verse seven. But Ubanba eh good have guys a condo a condo you you know and as much as you're trying to console yourself it's like it's just tough it's hard to actually um try and put this behind you like there are a lot of situations that make us go through anxiety in my case right now i'm in a i'm on crossroads you know and i don't know what the future holds for me because I am doing my final year, so I have to be busy with my final exams, my fourth year. But when I think of things like um, employment rates, yes, in South Africa, I get mini panic attacks. When I think of how my life is going to take a 10 that... I'm not quite ready for, but I'm ready for. Like, I want to leave school. I really want to leave school. But it's like, yo, what's going to happen to me then next year? You know, being in varsity, we comfortable. You become so comfortable. And these are things we don't get prepared for, hey? It's like when you're matric and you have to, you're just excited that you're leaving home and stuff. But honestly, we are never really emotionally prepared we are just J have like excitement that unnecessary. Yeah. So I am going through the most with worrying, am I ever gonna get a job? Is anyone gonna even consider hiring me? What am I supposed to do? I can't stay at home. I'll go crazy. Guys, if you're someone like me, ne staying and sitting and doing nothing will drive you crazy. It's fun for the first couple of days in the first week like take for instance december holidays have never been my favorite holiday because they are too long i want to go on holiday when i'm at school but once december gets there and i'm supposed to be on holiday then i start to panic i'm like no ways no ways for a month uh, uh, in fact for a couple of months because it's december holidays if you're in varsity it's like two months and a half sort of you know, and you just literally wake up, clean the house, and then that's it. Uh uh, does it? It does not. It does not cut it for me, and that is frustrating for me. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I'm literally out here just venting, and it is what it is, man. And I just hope that right guys because personally the goisha and i really hope that um i snap out of it and that you snap out of it if you're going through it because in all honesty um nobody knows what's gonna happen you know i once met a lady but she was a doctor that was years ago she said to me you know what prayer allow your prayer to reach the places that you cannot physically reach Ati, if i need to speak to someone and i can't physically get there let me let my prayer get there for me does that make sense? Let my prayer do the walk and the action for me. So, uh, guys, this is me just trying to console myself, really. It's not about you. 
this is me trying so hard to talk to myself to deal with this stage of my life a lot better and i'm literally trying to say to myself girl 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 anyway guys i hope never right i hope i just hope you guys are okay because i want to be okay i hope i'm okay i just hope um i don't know guys what i'm hoping for honestly <laughs> i don't know what i'm hoping for but i just want to tell you that god loves me god loves you and god always makes a way and he is able to do abundantly and above all that we all could possibly ask for